Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Apologies that I sound a little bit croaky this morning. A, it's really early. I thought that it was Friday. Matt's gone to work for overtime this morning and when I realised he'd left this morning, I thought I was over. I thought I was late for work. So I got went jumping out of bed. Um, B, I'm just knackered and my voice is overused because I've been back to school this week. We went back on Tuesday. So I've done four days back and shout out to any teachers that are now back or children. If you have children that are now back to school, um, it's been an odd week, sort of a relatively normal week, dare I say, um, which has been really lovely. Um, and I've moved to year six, which is quite a change. I was in year two before, so it's been quite the week. Um, and I'm the mentor for three ECT teachers, so trying to make sure that they were all okay, as well as getting my own stuff sorted, has been an intense week. Um, I wanted to share this video with you. I'm so behind. I've got so many little hauls to share with you because I have broken some things up. And this was purchased sort of midway through the summer holidays. My, one of my sisters and I went on a TK Maxx and HomeSense day and we literally went to five stores local to us. And then I went the next morning to a HomeSense somewhere else. So I've the HomeSense that I went on my own, I've separated. Um, and then I'll do the stuff that I bought with my sister. So there are some candles. I know I bought some candles in the last haul, but the reason I bought these ones are mostly for the decorative purposes, which will make sense when I show you which ones I managed to get up, pick up even. And some of the things that I picked up are decor for the home. And if I start with this, I'm not sure if I'm going to reflect in it. Hopefully not. Um, but this is an iridescent pumpkin. It was five ninety nine, which I thought was a really good value. I bought something with a similar effect to this from Poundland last year, some really small pumpkins. Um, I think they were tea light holders. We'll see when I get all the Halloween and autumn stuff out of the, the, the loft. Um, what, well, it's the, what is it today? It's the 4th of September today that I'm filming this video. I think I'm actually going to put it up today as well. Um, and I think maybe next weekend we might start getting our autumn stuff out, but wait till October for the Halloween. So things like this, I'd probably wait for the Halloween. I'm going to do sort of more just for your oranges your leaves, your acorns, that kind of thing now, and then wait for the more purple and like clearly Halloween stuff a little bit later on. But I thought this was really, really pretty. It is ceramic. It's got a lovely design. It has got a bit of a mark here, um, which we believe it's just where they didn't paint that small little section, but they gave me 10% off anyway. So I got it for 59 pence less than 5.99, um, so 5.40. So picked that up, really, really like that. I also picked up this. Now, I wasn't sure on this. My sister wasn't keen on it. It's a three-tiered pumpkin. Um, I sent a picture to Matt, and he quite liked it. Um, I, I liked it, and with HomeSense, it was HomeSense we went in the first store, you know that if you don't pick something up on the day, when you go back to get it, you're not going to find them again. So... Yeah, I just I thought I'd get it, and then if we if I got home, Matt really didn't like it. I could take it back, but he seems to really like it. It's six ninety nine, and if you remember last year, if you were a follower of mine last year, I bought loads of those small ceramic pumpkins from Poundland, and some of them are just white and black. Some say hey pumpkin, some of them are white and black striped like Beetlejuice. So this will tie in quite nicely with those, um, and we are literally putting it all over our house. We just love decorating for autumn and Halloween, so there'll be a place for this. And then I found this one. This one was probably my favourite one that I picked up. And it's black and it's got these white stars on it. It was $6.99. Um, it's a really decent size. It's slightly smaller than this iridescent one. But I just really, really liked this. And a lot of what we picked up is sort of white or black, especially in this haul. You'll see what I mean. Um, and I just thought that these are things that would go in any room because it doesn't matter. Like this room particularly, it's purple. So I don't think I'd, like as in like a lilac purple. So I don't think I'd necessarily put Halloween-y stuff in this room. But some nice white and black elements in here would look really, really pretty. So yeah, picked that one up. Really, really like this one. I've seen this in a couple of videos online. I haven't seen that three-tiered one. I've not seen anyone else pick that up. So either I'm the only person that likes it or people haven't seen it. I'm not sure. Um, I picked this up as a present to Matt. I've mentioned so many times on my channel, he absolutely loved black cats. And this is a little light up one, if I can get it to work. So it lights up different colours. And pretty much anything black cat's going to go in his games room. So I'm looking for the price. I think it was $4.99. I can't see the price on here. This one was $4.99. So picked that up for him. And then final thing that's 
not a candle in any way is this little jack-o'-lantern like trinket dish there's nothing inside it it's just empty it's called a covered jar and it doesn't really say a brand that made it but it was 4.99 which i thought was a brilliant value the only thing i don't like is there's no sort of rubber on it so the lid is kind of just a little bit wiggly and that noise is kind of annoying if you're moving it about but if it was on a shelf or whatever you wouldn't be but i just really really liked this and do you know what i've seen this on ebay people have been putting it up as ray dunn it isn't ray dunn it'd be great if it was but it isn't it's beautiful either way it cost me 4 dollars and people are selling things for such stupid prices on eBay. It makes me so cross. If you're going to go to TK Maxx and Home Sense and buy stuff for your house, please knock yourself out. Enjoy yourself. But don't just buy it and put it on eBay for a profit because some of us actually want to decorate our homes with it. Sorry, if that is you and you're watching and you're getting a bit offended, I apologise. But, no, do you know what? I don't apologise. <laughs> I'm rambling. It's so early. What time is it? It's about a quarter past seven in the morning. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it does make me cross because I've tried so many Home Sense stores and TK Maxx stores and not seen a single Ray Dunn item. And then I watch all these other videos and there's loads in stores and I'm like, where's it all going? And it's all on eBay, isn't it? Um, I picked this up. This is a candle. But I didn't pick it up because it's a candle. I picked it up because I really liked the little cauldron and I liked the little moon and stars. So this was from a TK Maxx store, this one, as was the little jack-o'-lantern um dish the rest was home scent so far but obviously you know it's a bit of a mixture where you get it this was 7.99 and it's got such a strong scent i can smell it i'm nowhere near it it's apple to me and it's quite a sweet apple oh i love it mum would like that actually it just says potion d'amour and on the other side love potion oh this makes sense this is it says debbie angel but I picked up one of the Martha Stewart candles. I picked up this little, like, Halloween-y gnome dressed as, like, a sort of wizard. And then he's got a cauldron that says Hocus Pocus at the front. And this is Love Potion as well, Martha Stewart Love Potion. You can see it's a bright green candle. And this smells of sweet apple as well. So maybe, although they look different, perhaps they are made by the same companies, maybe. But, yeah, that's a Martha Stewart one, as I say, smells of sweet apple. And this says Debbie Angel. But yeah, smells amazing. I probably wouldn't burn these two at the moment. Because I've got loads of other candles that I can burn. And these ones, as I say, I'm getting more for the decorative. I can't get this lid back on. Getting more for the decorative element. No, that lid is literally not going back on. <laughs> not sure why. There's a little chip in that, actually. That's sad. But I suppose you wouldn't see it when the, when the lid is on. If the lid ever goes back on, right? I'm going to do that off camera because you guys are going to be sitting there waiting. And then I have got two items. I'm being that annoying person that's saving the best till last. <laughs> so I've got two final items to show you after these. So don't turn off yet. Um, I picked up some little candles. You know I've got tons of candles. I definitely didn't need any more. I was, in, I was, what's the word? Enabled by my sister. She picked up like six candles on this day. But then she did show me her candle cupboard and it's nowhere near my candle cupboard. I picked up Heritage Pumpkin and Sweet Apple. I really liked the jars and I've said this before. I get candles for the jars sometimes and I thought these would be really good to keep darning needles in. So when these are finished, I thought these would be quite cute. I don't even know that I'd keep them this side or if this comes off, but you can always turn it around if you need to. I thought these were sort of the perfect size to put all those little needles that get lost all over the place and they'd look really pretty on a shelf. So that was kind of my thinking behind convincing myself that I needed two more candles in my life. They were 2 99 each. I could have got the bigger sizes. In fact, I did pick up a bigger size in the Sweet Apple, which was 5 99 And that was a present from my mum, which I've already given to her. And that's apple with, with um, hints of juicy fresh pear. And then this one, the Heritage Pumpkin, is harvest pumpkin infused with brown sugar, gingered cinnamon, toasted clove and sweet vanilla. And... It's a very musky scent. You can really smell the cinnamon. It's a very autumnal scent. And you could also get away with probably burning that nearer to Christmas. Because you can really get the cloves and the vanilla. Oh, I like that. So yeah, pick those two up. And then I was lucky on this shopping trip. I was able to pick up... <gasps> da -da -da -da! Not just this one. 
but this one too i managed to get some of the pumpkin candles now i have been looking everywhere for these like i can't even explain to you how many times i've been to tk max and home since there are still things to share with you honestly i have been obsessed and i fell in love with online the mint green one but i know i'm the kind of person that if i'd seen any of the colors i would have picked up one of all of them i can't resist <laughs> i just can't stop myself um but I definitely wanted white and I definitely wanted mint. I've not been able to find the mint and I'm not that sad about it because I've since found other things that I like more. So if I'd bought those, I probably wouldn't have been able to get the stuff that I've, that I've since bought, which will be coming up in future videos. So don't forget to click the red button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out massively. And then you'll be able to see my next haul videos that will be coming very, very soon, including some Ray Dunn items, which I finally got my hands on. Um, but yeah I, I'm quite pleased now that I didn't see those colours plus had I bought the mint one I'm not sure where it would have gone in the house because everything that we've got we've got white and black we've got sort of your autumns oranges and browns and then we do have some sort of purples and greens near a Halloween but the mint kind of just wouldn't have gone with any of that but the white would now this I did ask for a slight discount on which I got because the chip the end here is chipped so a little bit of gold paint has come off, which is a shame, really. It's a three wick candle. It's white pumpkin scent. And this was $9.99. Is it white pumpkin scent? Yeah, it is. White pumpkin scent says it at the bottom. It's 20 ounces, this candle. So, and that actually smells beautiful. It's got like a hint of vanilla to me. It's very, very vanilla-y, which I love as a candle. Now, this one was also $9.99. So I wasn't sure on this one for a while. It was in a different store. That I found them in different stores. As I say, I went to five, and this is all that I managed to pick up. They have been raided, these stores. Um, But, yeah, I did get it in the end because I liked the matte finish. But this isn't a Martha Stewart one, whereas this one is. This is a DW Home candle. So it's... I would assume then that DW Home are slightly more expensive than Martha Stewart as a brand because as I say this is um smaller but the same price. I did get both. I don't know that we would burn them as candles, certainly not this year perhaps because I'm irrational and if I knew I could get them again then I probably would burn them. Where, like most of the autumn candles like ones like this you'll get year on year so i'll burn it won't be a problem but things like this i'm like mm, they're quite special so i probably won't and um, again as i say i'm a little bit irrational um but once they are burnt you can use them as little dishes so this one is vanilla pumpkin instead of white pumpkin but it's got a sits no actually it's a very different scent but there's something more than the vanilla that I can smell. Some sort of spice in there. I wonder if it tells us on the bottom. It does not. It does not tell us what the um, thing is. It does say don't burn for more than four hours. So you do have to be careful with the sort of safety warnings and things like this. So I think I've told you the prices for most things except the Martha Stewart gnome candle. This was quite pricey. This was $16.99. And I ummed and ahed about this for a while. And I didn't pick it up when Matt and I went shopping in my last autumn and Halloween haul. I didn't pick it up. But when I saw it again, I'd regretted not getting it. So I grabbed it this time. So although it's pricey, it um, yeah, it, it's more of a decor piece for me. So that's our second Halloween and autumn Home Sense and TK Maxx haul. Hope you enjoyed having a little look. There are even better things to come. Um, and... I noticed on Instagram day before yesterday that Poundland have launched their Halloween range. I know the range have launched their Halloween range. I'm not going to be going to the range soon, but I am going to pop to Poundland this afternoon and see if I can pick anything up. I'm looking for the little cauldron mug. That's what I'm hoping to pick up because I've got some pumpkin mugs from last year. It doesn't look like, look like they've brought out more pumpkins, which is what I'm obsessed with, as you can tell um, at the moment. So... I don't think I'm going to be picking very much up in Poundland. We still have all of our pom-pom garlands from last year and various different little glitter pumpkins and things. Um, so I might not do a haul today. I might just lump that in with something else. Um, but definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for listening. I'm sure I've probably rambled way too much in this video. I don't know how I do it. I just feel like I just like chatting to you guys. And yeah, you are my friends. So I like to talk to you. So apologies if you think I talk for too long. But... I enjoyed talking to you. Hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll be seeing you again soon for lots more haul videos and I've got some crafts to share with you too. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.